With Life by You delayed and Project Renee slash Sims 5 years away from launch, the next few years might be absolutely critical for the simulation game market. And perhaps the game with the biggest uphill challenge is Paralyzed, who revealed a build showcase used to test live mode core gameplay features. In a now public Patreon post, we'll see a mix of industrial and modern styles, but more importantly, assets such as small kitchen appliances, some gameplay items, and a sense for how they've created certain assets to test core features with. So if you are not a Patreon member, you're probably not aware of this, but they are hard at work in live mode. And while we can't talk about lots of details yet, they are using a lot of the assets they've created to make sure that they have core functionality. So with this floor plan, first they focused on a big living space to showcase their modern furniture and decor. They chose to lean more into an industrial interior with metal, leather, and dark colors. And I will say for a a lot of the paralyzed furnishings, I do feel like they lean a little bit more on the modern side and industrial side. They have shown off a couple of other styles in the past, such as cottage, etc. And I do think that the level of customization will allow us to have a lot of versatility. But as I said before, I would still love to see a little bit more variety in furnishing options. As of right now, though, definitely not my prime concern. I'm more concerned about the development of live mode. Now, more interesting to me, though, is the kitchen. So here, of course, our folks are needed to cook their meals, have a cup of coffee in the morning, but sometimes you need technology to simplify your life. So as we notice here, we have dishwashers and small appliances. Now this might not seem like that big of a deal, but I think these little details can make a big difference. I see a toaster, which is pretty exciting, and I also of course see the dishwasher. Now I know some people are going to note other things, so definitely comment below what do you like most about this image here. It is also an interesting topic to discuss the amount of clutter that's here versus functional items. I would suspect that most of the things we see on the shelves there are clutter as well as some of the things on the countertops as well but I think that also I know that a lot of people really care about clutter and I definitely am liking what the clutter looks like however they did add a note that I think is really important here and again speaks to the level of transparency and trying to communicate with their fans as much as possible they said keep in mind that this house has been made to test things out including those small interactive objects you might not be able to place them as they are in the picture if it leads to technical issues later on. And of course that definitely makes sense to me. Usually to get this level of clutter in say Sims, you would have to do a cheat like move objects on. So maybe a good question would be, are we going to have a cheat like that? Because I know some builders really, really love cluttering things up, even if you can't interact with them properly in game. Now next up, we actually have a washer in dryer set. And I would be curious to see how laundry works in pair lives. I'll be honest with you. I know a lot of people like doing laundry in the Sims. It's definitely Definitely never been my favorite thing, but it is cool to see that added in there. I also like the idea of having functional separators like curtains. I don't know how that's going to work, but I really like the look of that as well. And here we have a very interesting bedroom. So of course we have a bed, we have another room separator, also a brand new piano. I would love to have a couple different types of bass game instruments, but again, this is all extra things. It's not absolutely essential. Now I've said this before, but I still think they could branch out a little bit on the art style style, especially in terms of the picture decor. However, I don't think they should really focus on that at this time. And we do know that you can import pictures to really customize and create your own if you want to. And interesting to note here, the dresser we see here is actually from the original Maggie's Loft reveal, and they've reworked it and added lockers to create a matching set. Now, I know that the art style for Paralives is not for everyone, but I just think they're really doing a nice job with it. I think it feels cohesive, at least in terms of the build by items, I really think there's a lot of charm to it, and I feel like it feels immersive, but it feels like a good right fit for the coziness of the game. They also are showing off an independent shower head, which I absolutely love because I'm noticing a lot of space-saving tiny home items, and I really love seeing all these options available potentially in Bake's game. Of course, they'll have to work this out and make sure everything works properly, but all in all, I really enjoyed this showcase, and I hope you did too. So on that note, let me know what you think about this. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.